The building was built in 1906. It was uh, was the Meade County Courthouse. It was right there in the parking lot. In the 70s, the tornado destroyed that building. This building was still standing. This was the jailhouse. In the late 70s, they closed this down. This was abandoned until about 2006. And then someone re redid it, opened it up, and I bought it about seven years ago. And pretty much since then, we've had a lot of experiences here. And my brother and I bought it going on seven years now, so. And in this part here, I've had two experiences probably about four years ago. Usually it's me and the dishwasher are the last people to leave here in the building. So as he's finishing up, I'll walk around and turn off all the lights. And I always come over to here and open this panel and make sure the fans are off. Well, his sister was out in the parking lot right there where you can see in here pretty clearly, right where that car is at. And as I, we're leaving, she asked me, who's in the building with you all? And we were like, just us two. She's like, as Brian was going through the building, someone was walking behind him the whole entire time. And he said, I just thought it was somebody in there with him. And he's like, so as we were leaving, we had that. And about a month ago, him and I were in here again, running dishes this way through the kitchen. And as we get a couple of feet from this curtain here, no one's in the building, it's just me and him. Someone's walking down the steps. Can't see the upper part of him. Overalls, walks right into the dining room. So me and him obviously go the other way, <laughs> walk outside. And that's the two biggest ones, and, that, and you always hear even, not even three or four days ago, as soon as we turn off the lights, we are always in the kitchen at the end of the night. You can hear footsteps rustling around tables but obviously there's nothing going on like we go up there and check it it's nothing happening but you hear a lot of noises upstairs so the most common thing that i've seen people hear is help people will have their spirit box down here and they'll hear that beyond like normal amounts of anywhere else in the building there's people asking for help 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 and then stop people say stop here a lot too um this is where the name Ralph comes in sometimes. They've heard it here a few times. Um, from what one group said they heard on the spirit box was that Ralph was a guard here who would rape female prisoners. And that's, you know, they'd say, help, stop, make it add up together. But that's something that's happened in these two cells a lot. And I think it's this one that gets the most of it compared to this one. This is the cell that I was saying that we had so much incidence of customers being tapped, pulled hair, you know, just interaction with, and um, a lot of noises. You know, you you can hear these shut, but you'll come over here and they'll be open. When it came to every morning of cleaning, you would always see some sort of boot print on the table about dead center where the tip of the boot is facing out the window. But the weird thing is you never see two boots, you just see just one which made no sense to me. Um, the basement is probably, in my opinion, one of the most active areas in jailhouse, but it's the area that we don't let anybody else come into. So it's the least disturbed of all the areas. Sometimes people light the candles. We use them for storage if the power goes out, but you could use them. Um, I've seen people use the cards down here. They say cards invoke randomness. I've seen people use that a lot down here. The spirit box goes crazy down here. This is where the name Jim comes in, but I don't know the backstory on him. No, nobody's been able to tell me anything and I haven't been able to find anything. But my personal experiences with this, people have heard the name and stuff will move. When I first started here, I was about 16, maybe 15 when I was vacuuming up this side here. And after, when you get this so far, well, they greased it now, but it used to make an eerie screeching noise when you closed it. I was over here vacuuming, I heard it screech, and usually when it comes to us coworkers, we usually mess with each other in places like this because you hear it's haunted, so you, of course you mess with somebody. So I was right in the middle of vacuuming and cleaning windows when I heard this start to close and screech, so I 
peeked over thinking somebody was messing with me. By the time I got over here to grab the door to close it back all the way, this completely slammed it for full force. This place, I feel like this is the most creepy. Like I'm starting to get a little goosebumps right now just by standing up here. Even though I've been here so many years, it's just, I don't, know, I don't like this area. I mean, I can't really describe. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some of this equipment so that the DVR could possibly pick it up. Just don't block that door. No, Because no. there are plans that that door opens or closes. And that's a heavy ass door. Um, how about if I put it... I need to check my digital recorder. Oh, what did I do? I need to change channels. Here? I think so. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to try to set this off. trigger experiment um, we know that this is a jail but there's also a tragedy that happened back in the late 1970s here we had a very devastating tornado and we're thinking that that uh, if we do a tornado effect it might conjure up what's in the in the jail also maybe the surroundings because like I had talked to earlier the courthouse was literally next door to the jail. It leveled off the tar from the tornado. It was a very big, huge devastation. There was one gentleman that did die in the jail, or not in the jail, but in the courthouse. Within a matter of a six block radius, 20 people died in this area. So what I'm gonna do is experiment the tornado, see if it triggers any activity and if it's going to set it off any of our meters and and any of our uh, periscopes that we have set up for tonight along with a couple of little theories that I'm going to play off on that tornado sound that's what we're planning on doing you're going to do it right here? yeah so oh that's ready. definitely going to make it vibrate I mean, this is going to be your echo see how yeah, echoes? Yeah. okay there's the bug Well, here's my question. If we go ahead and do this, do you want to leave the room and go back to base and just let it run? No, not really. I mean... So you want to stay here until the thing is done? Yeah. It's only like six minutes long. Six well, maybe what we can do is run it twice. Be in here while it goes off mm -hmm. and then leave. Oh, well, it's going to be loud. Are you ready for this? No. Should I put it in the middle of this thing? No, 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 no. Vibrate. no, yeah, vibrate. I'm just hoping it doesn't set off that geo rod right. downstairs. It shouldn't because we're upstairs. Are we ready? Oh, I think so. <laughs>
How's that for an experiment? I do not want to go through that. That was scary as hell. Now, at one point, it sounded like something was either in this room or downstairs. That's why I tapped Joe on the shoulder to turn the camera over here. I don't know if it was the vibrations of that thing. <coughs> Possible. The only thing is, is there was a lot of screaming in this thing, so I really didn't know. I Dude, mean, it, it was... sounded like... <laughs> it sounded like a horror flick, it man. Did, it man. did, man. It was, oh my God. Yeah, that sounded like it come out of hell. I was like, Jesus, if, it, if that's what a tornado sounds like, I don't want to be in one. That was just delicious. It's up to you. Do you want to do the experiment oh. on the first oh. floor? Shh, shh, shh. Is there somebody in here with us? Did we bring back bad memories? of that era? Were you in that tornado that destroyed half this town? We know of a horrific tragedy Shift? Shift. Oh, shift. And below. Away. Okay. You want to turn it so we can see it? I heard, I heard what, that too. What was that? I heard that. You want to turn it so we can see it? Explain Alice. Alice is kind of like your... There's a light. Where? Hold on. Is that, is that one kid in here? Yeah, he's downstairs. I just heard somebody. Oh, it is him. Okay. okay. So am I going to do this again? And we're going to leave the room? Yeah. Debunked. Is that what you want to do? We can, what? Okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn this back on, let it run. I'm gonna put the camera in front of Alice, so you can it'll keep up with the words. So go ahead and explain, Alice. Alice is kind of like a a written form of the spirit box slash in between a spirit box and Oculus. Um, it picks up basically the same concept as. It pulls from the atmosphere and it puts words on here. Um, and basically she's, she's been validated twice at several locations because of the history that it had given across the screen. We were able to put words together, put pieces together because it also sometimes put full-fledged sentences on here and partial sentences. One thing you need to mention, Alice does not have a built-in dictionary like the Obulus does or the okay. Obulus 5. What the frick was that? That was down there. Yeah. Watch your step. That was a thing. Is those doors still open? Because we opened both of those doors. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What the? That was me. No. 
I put, I, I put my elbow on the amp. No, there was something down there. Did you not hear it? I heard something. Oh. What was that? That was not my stomach. Dude, that sounded like a growl. A growl? Yeah. Okay. Way to go, find that demon from hell, son. Well, it can't be our stomach, we ate. We all did. What was more impressive? Oh, wait. We, had, we had Big Bang, and we were standing over there, and it sounded like, I don't even know the sound, and then we just had a growl. Hopefully the digital recorder in there caught that. Gotta find that on the table again. It's in my pocket. But it was more on this side. Yeah. And this is where Shannon saw the shadow. I believe. Something along this wall she was telling. said what was that so I knew it wasn't your stomach it wasn't mine I don't know has there been any claims of growling that I'm not as sure It's in here. Go ahead, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting a lot of sounds. That was creepy. Stop. That, okay. That was creepy. What happened? We got sounds. As soon as we come downstairs, we started hearing crap coming from the stairwells down. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's amazing that Alice said, take cover. Take cover. We got the word take cover. That's amazing. Yeah, that clicking sound is actually coming from the kitchen, but there was something else. Something in the kitchen? Something in the kitchen. 
Well, I hear the clicking, that's because of the hammer. We got water running. We got water everywhere. What do you mean water's running? Water's running. It's no. dripping. There you go. Turn it we off. turned that off before we left. Oh. You remember that? He turned that off because that was, I mean, when he left, there was nothing going on in here. Right. Is when we were standing coming back down, me and uh, Joe heard noises coming down the stairwell. I told you. <laughs> Why do you think I kept looking at them stairs? There. I kept hearing noises mm -hmm. while you were playing the tornado. I kept looking and, and I tapped Joe on the shoulder and I said, "Something's there, or it's in the room behind." Well, see, Alice went to, went off and said, "Take cover." Oh, we're recording over there? Uh, recording on, on the camera. Yeah, but do you want me to do an EVP session in here? Yeah, I definitely want you to do that because this okay, camera shut off and her camera shut off. That's sweet, weird. Right? Joe, Gavin, Paula, second floor, jail cell. If you're in this room, can you go ahead and come near this red light? Oh, damn, I got the word shit. I saw something in this cell. I'm going to put this on record. Was that recording when you caught it? There we go. Is there anybody into. in this room right now with us? Maybe. Um, Alice said maybe. I saw. Were you a victim of the tornado that happened here? We know it must have been a horrific tragedy. I don't think I can handle something like that. Especially when I ripped up your little town. Were you in any of the buildings here when the tornado hit? Well, let's try this. My name is Gavin. What is your name? Say your name as loud as you can. I have a device here where I can actually pick up your name. That would be great if you can actually shut this door. Picture. Tools. Tools. Picture. Again? Is there like a tool or something and a picture's hanging by it? Picture, tools. I can check. Um, Is, I know there's a bunch of pictures over there. I don't know if there's any pictures over here. Pictures involving tools. Hey, does this count? It's not tools, but... Yes, is it a picture with... Unless it's a picture with tools, or it's a picture close to tools. That's the part I don't understand. And I got the word Ameline, and that's an old name. Yeah, but look, Paula. Tools. Picture with tools. There's a hammer. And there's some tools. Soldiers. That's downstairs.
a soldier. Gonna want Technically, those are tools. So he's one of these pictures, maybe. Could he be maybe a uh, a soldier from the Civil War, and we're not seeing it. Yeah. Are these, are they, these gentlemen pass away? This one did. He did? Yes, because that's in, in the memory of. Okay. I don't know about the rest of them. It says hometown of Gradenburg, Kentucky, but that don't tell me anything. Um, so, mate, fireman, machinist, mate, fireman, Welch, Samuel. Sheriff Henry? What the fuck? See if there's a cobweb. Check me for a cobweb. See, so you had the same thing that happened to me. Did you just. I don't see anything on you. But I found. Yeah, I was going to show you these. Soldiers. Yeah. Wallace, Joseph, Francis. Pictures of tools. What is this? That's a shoeing repair. They use tools. I see we've got more soldiers here. But look at this. Henry Bonnever Livers. 1834 and 1921, he was the sheriff of Meade County. He would have been the sheriff in this building because the building was built in 19. Joe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Did you get were, I was watching you on the, on the, um, you don't have a walkie. Were you getting a cobweb oh, se sensation yeah. right there? Yeah. That's what I was getting during the tornado. And Shannon saw me doing it. And I was see, like, when I walked up here, I felt like a, a cobweb hit me right smack in the just, face. I was just—I kept going, and, and she saw it on the um, DVR, and she said, "Joe's just doing what you just did." Yeah. When yeah, we were doing the tornado, what happened where you guys ran downstairs? Because the fact that Alice was going off and was giving us clues, oh. and it's a picture with a soldier. Oh. Okay. We thought and something happened. No, we were trying to find the soldiers, and I kind of find out it's not the soldiers from downstairs. It's the soldiers from here. I didn't mean to interrupt, but you didn't have a walkie, so. Yeah. But Shannon goes, he just did the same thing that you did while you guys it was were on doing the, back the tornado. Of my I, yeah, I felt it here, and then I felt it yeah. on my arm, and I was like, what? I felt it right, you know, right up yeah. on my neck. Yeah. Oh, right no. there, because I was, remember, I was leaning in that doorway. Yeah. Soldiers. We found pictures of soldiers. What is that? Did We've somebody got a just go? Downstairs. Did somebody just go? Hmm. No, we didn't. I was talking mm. to him about the words. But Lark Division, purified teen and chain, 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 chain. Oh, 
We're going to search for chains. We, we, we have chains. We got chains. We got shackles. Okay, shackles, yes. All right, they found the chain. What do you, what do we need about chains? What was that? That's me that running one. this shackle. Okay. Use. Use. M-U-S-E. Watch. I think this is funny. Muse watch. Muse watch. Oh, you're going to do something? You're going to make one of these chains move? Are you going to show yourself? We can actually see you? I was settling that one to make it quit moving. Make one of these chains move. Was you shackled into your cell? Did you see anybody hanged here? I heard that. I, I don't know what that was. It was like a tapping or yeah, it was right behind you. Yeah, it was. We're down in the basement, 360 just went off. And we were just setting up. That's the first time we've seen 360 go off all night. It's gonna do that. Explain the 360. The 360 picks up static electricity. I mean, I was just trying to set up. I put a temper scope down. We have the EDI over here, and I didn't expect that to go off so fast. But since it did, we got to get immediately started. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the AVPS app. It's, it's meant for recording, recording, but it's pre-programmed questions. I use it more as a trigger I Did you hear that? Is that your stomach? That is not my stomach. Did you hear that? Mm hmm So what I'm going to do is try to use it as a trigger and use a female's voice. I mean, especially with that 360 just going off. So it's going to ask the questions for me so that I don't have to. before the 360 went off, we actually had a, Are you a boy? the temper scope go off and the red light came on, which it sensed a heat signature or a rise in the heat and then the 360 went off.
EDI. Do you know that you have died? Geopad's going off. See the orange? I keep hearing like clicking over there. Okay. Yeah. 77 degrees. It was 80 something. Wasn't it? I'll have to look. Or was it 78? Do you want to harm anyone here? What was that? Was that you? No. Well, what the fuck was it? Let them come to us now. Temperature's still going down. Slowly. I'm Joe. I have some friends with me. Brandon and Shannon. If you're down here with us, we have stuff that you can come up to and let us know that you're here. We have devices that will light up. So if there's somebody down here, uh, could you please let us know? Light one of these devices up. Temperature still dropping. Whoa. Oh, wow. What was that? What is that? That's the EDI going off the EMF detector. Oh, okay. Just everybody hold still. The temperature's been dropping. Hopefully you got that, that was caught on camera. So we could temper scope go off. It's aimed in this direction. No, I turned it. Oh, did you? I don't know if we got it. Possibly. It was turned this way, so. And then I turned it. So it may have got it. The temperature's still dropping. So we're having temperature drop. <coughs> we had the heat sensor go off that it detected a rise in heat 360 then went off temperature started dropping and now the edi and the geopod's been going off but then the edi just went off the emf part look we're not here to disrespect you we're here to learn about you maybe to help you out we want to figure out who you are uh, you know we're here we have equipment you get the advantage. We're in the dark. You know this place better than we do. So if you could, please, let us know that you're here. Uh, we don't care what you do. Light something up. Uh, knock on something. Move something. It doesn't matter. We just want to know that we're communicating with somebody. Can you tell me your name? Hey, hold on, hold on, look out, Joe. Turn off your light. Turn off your light. It just detected a cold draft. A cold, cold spot. Thank you. Can you do that again, please? If that was you, could you do that? That would be great. I'm hoping they got that. What thing? Oh, why is it detecting the heat signature now? Thank you. Cool. So you made it blue. You made it red. Can you make it blue again, please? I don't know, but I got it's really cold over here. Go ahead. Is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Hang on. Just don't move. And keep that light off. My whole body. Is keep cold. that light off. The temperature's still dropping. Yeah. We're down to 75 now. And I think it started at 80. That's a five degree deep. Three different pieces of equipment already go off. I really whoa, 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 whoa. Periscope's, Periscope's going off on the stairwell. Whoa. Don't let anybody move. Still going off. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
I think that whoever was down here may have went upstairs. No, temperature's still going down. Is it? Yeah, we're at 75.8 now. You know, I want to thank you for lighting up our equipment and letting us know that you're here. Um, if there's anything else that you can do. 75.7. That would be great, you know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move away. Give you your space over here. Again, that temperature should not be dropping. There's no wind outside, so there's no drafts coming into this basement. It's pretty sealed. It's detecting EMF. Not that I really like using it. I'll open up K2. Fan of K2. 76.9 on the mantel, 80.1 on the floor. I don't even know how we mark this room. I don't know what room this is. The room with the fireplace. Trying to stir these boys up. I still got it set up. I do. Hello, I would like to speak with you and ask you some questions. Please speak loudly and you will be heard in the recording. I'm not here to hurt or harm you, and I just want to find out more about you, so I'm going to ask you some questions now. Fine lady. 360. Mm -hmm. Here? Did you hear that? If there yeah. is, please give me a sign of your presence. A yeah. knock, a bang. What was that? I don't know, but that 360s, that's a long... That's my stomach growling. Oh, okay. Look at how long that held. Yeah. What is your name? Periscope 360 again. Are you a boy? And it's holding. Are you a girl? That's a good hit, Joe. I'm getting a cold draft. I don't know what's going on, but I can definitely. Are you a man? Cold. There's another hit. Yeah. Yep. 
Is that you, guard? Are you a woman? Is there anybody here that wants to speak to us? Can you tell us your name? Are these the women's cells? Are there any women here that want to speak to us? Can you say that again? Go to Jailhouse Pizza. Awesome. <laughs> the only place that you can go, you can sit inside a jail cell, eat pizza, and see the hanging news just down there. Yeah. And they're not sponsoring us or anything like that. I mean, we absolutely. Oh yeah, that is freaking it. awesome. Oh yeah. I've told so many people if they want a pizza, the best place to go is Jailhouse. If they're, they're heading best. towards Louisville or heading towards Evansville and want to take a little Elizabeth detour town. or Elizabeth Town. Yeah. Detour, best place to have a detour. Mm -hmm. And venture it through the little town too. There's not much left of the main town, but it's still something to have informational for. But it suffered some great tragedy, did it not? A tornado hit in the 1970s and uh, it killed almost, it killed 40 people. Uh, it took out the courthouse, which happens to be next door to the jail. And there was one gentleman that did die in the courthouse. It was a deputy, a sheriff. Uh, but within about a range of just four city blocks, there was 20 deaths within the jail. One of them was a very sad story, but tragic at the same time. Right across from the courthouse was a business annex, which shows in that picture. Yeah, that's a business annex. There's the courthouse, that's the jail, that's the business annex. Right in one of those annexes was beauty parlor. And of course with your tornadoes and your systems of the tornadoes, we didn't have the alert systems like we do now. So when a tornado showed up, you didn't have much of a warning notice. A lady was in the process of beauty parlor fixing a lady's hair. And it was Saturday, so you know, most women love to go on Saturdays get their hair fixed because they go to church on Sunday. So it hit just like this instantly and it wiped out and I don't know if I have an after effect. No, but there's a picture of what the tornado looks like. Oh my god. Holy cow. And that took this out. Yes. The courthouse. And it took out the courthouse. And this is outside. This is it already went through Brandenburg and this person took this picture. So this is coming out of Brandenburg 
where this picture is and it's going across the field heading towards it it, it picked up and it got smaller and it lifted up in my understanding of the story that I read but then it reset itself back in Louisville, Kentucky which Louisville is only 45 minutes away from Brandon. You have a picture of the aftermath. Yeah, I, I thought I brought it with me but I didn't. I brought a picture of what the old town looked like, right. what it looked like before the tornado, but I I've seen the aftermath. It's, yeah, it's, I thought I brought it with me but I didn't. But I always over research stuff too so there's no telling. Um, but anyway, the, the, yeah, this happened, and basically the lady got killed. There was much of a warning notice. The lady got killed, and her the person that she was working her hair on got killed right in her beauty parlor. So, what did you guys think about the investigation? I, I liked it. Um, we had some cool things happen. You did your experiments. Uh, <laughs> We, yeah, we did the tornado experiment that, that was awesome. whole loud in the place up because I really couldn't find history of an actual death in that jail because you got to realize that was a jail that was built in 1909 and that was the third jail of a series of four and the only thing I could really regulate that you would cause so much trauma to where the place could be severely haunted or that it would have paranormal activity had to be related to a tornado because of 20 victims died within a two city block range of, of the jail. And why they would probably congregate to that jail is because there was only one of two buildings that was left that, you know, because of this tornado, it demised everything, leveled everything out, blew everything away. And the jail ended up being the only really sole thing that was left because the courthouse was taken in order because the courthouse was so big, it was able to save the jail. Now, when it comes to personal experiences, uh, I know I had one, I felt like something like brushed against my, the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. uh, we had people run up and down the stairs behind us. After we, tornado yeah, out. we were actually in the middle of doing the second tornado experiments. We were trying to leave the building. Me and you were going down the stairs, and all of a sudden, we got three fourths down. We turned around, and we kept hearing what they sound like footsteps running behind us. Mm -hmm. And and then we end up turning around, going back and trying to find out what's going on. The whole time the tornado sound was going on, you come in minutes later. Why did you not come back outside? And then we like you know. Well, we had some other issues going on at the same time. Another thing that happened too was there was, now I'm not going to say it was a ground control, I'm not sure, but it sounded like it. Unfortunately, I, there's no audio of it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. We heard it. it. It sounded like there was a growl, but I'm not going to say that it was a growl. Right. Uh, but, you know, that had happened. Uh, me, Brandon, Shannon, we were in the uh, basement. And we had a couple of things happen. Temperature kept changing. Now, Brandon may see this uh, differently than I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, he's saying, oh, the temperature's changing. And, and it was. It was getting colder. But I don't, I don't know if that was terrible or not. And he, he may have a different opinion on that, and that's mm -hmm. fine. We, we, won't, we don't know for sure anyways. So, you know, we did have, um, I had an incident where, it got my arm. It, it got cold. I got goosebumps. Uh, which something like that doesn't happen to me all the time. Uh, right. We did have some equipment go off, uh, like the, uh, uh, I believe it was the 360 that went off. Uh, as for evidence, I went over that and we caught two EVPs. All of us, well, most of us, we all had, you know, our own experience and stuff like that. But uh, one of the EVPs came from women's part of the jail and to me it sounds like over here and that's before I even started talking mm -hmm. and I said over here now I don't know if I was responding to what I thought was you because the voice is not yours yeah so to me it sounds like over here and I said over here and here I don't know what I said. I heard 
the word no. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. That's it was the one I heard. Yeah, that one I did hear, and it sounded like no. Are you angry? Did you hear it? Personal experiences, two EVPs. Yeah, I mean, look, I wish, you know, we had more, but it is yeah. how it is. I mean, you're not going to get something every time you go to a location. I mean, you know, Ghost is not going to be sitting there going, I'm working today, Bill. You know, yeah. we may get stuff, we may not. I mean, it's a gamble. Exactly. So, but yeah, I love the place. I want to go back. Uh, Heck yeah. Not to investigate, to eat pizza.